Yes, that is my vacuum running. Let me turn it off for a moment. Do you ever feel like you're procrastinating on something, but you're not exactly sure why? The truth is that as women, there are so many things demanding our attention in a day. Now, a lot of times somebody will tell you that you should only focus on the things that are urgent and important and they're in that certain box, etc. The reality is as women is, I'm not saying we're programmed to do more, I'm just suggesting that our list of things to do is kind of like spaghetti. So we're running out the door and we're like, oh, I need to grab that for after school. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to RSVP for that. Oh, I forgot to yada, yada, yada. It's not that you're lazy. It's not that, it's not that you can't be focused when you need to be or want to be. The reality is, is that we just are creatures to please our why. Look at these pictures, right? I could spend all day just picking things up, straightening things up. Um, we are constantly filling the dishwasher, unloading it. I'm really blessed and I have a spouse that helps with those things, but I know that there are women in this world that don't have that. Now, at the end of the day, no matter what you got done or didn't get done, I want you to have a heart of gratitude. I want you to feel like you've accomplished one step closer to that dream or that reality. I want you to see more than what you're currently experiencing in life. And so I just wanna empower you to do the best that you can with the tools that you have in your toolbox right now. And think about what it is that you're stuck on, what it is that will help you move to the next place in whatever it is that you're tackling. And is there someone that you know? Is there, is there something you need to learn? Because I promise you, everything is available for free on the internet right now. Or it is just that one connection away from being able to learn more about it. Now, there are so many things you can do. The reality is, is you need to prioritize what it is that is important that you should do. Because as I mentioned, your life is a collection of experiences. It's a, it's a collection of memories. It's a collection of daily tasks. It's those little small baby steps. And so I want you to really get laser focused on why it is that you're working on whatever it is and make sure that it's crystal clear, that it aligns with your values. It aligns with what you're wanting to accomplish in this season of your life. There have been things that I've thought I should do or could do or wanted to do in previous seasons of my life and it wasn't the right timing. I know there are things that I really want to do, but they're not for this current season, this chapter of this moment of this life. And so it's hard to be patient. It's ridiculously tough because we're constantly teaching our children or our spouses or just people in our life that we're influencing that, you know, we can move that, that patient, right? We can either choose to be patient or not patient. And so, yes, my husband always jokes, it says that patients are for doctors and I am not a doctor by any sorts of the imagination, but I want you to use the tools you have in your toolbox and take a big breath. It's gonna be okay, I promise you. There are moments of chaos, there are moments of uncertainty, there are moments of massive amounts of stress, but you can only do what you can do. And as long as you are empty, if you are pouring out more than you're filling up, and if you are giving to others more than you are, than you're able to, if your tank is on empty, you need to take a big breath and you need to fill up so that you can get laser focused and you can go out and help others because the world needs you and we need the best version of you because that is when you're going to be the sharpest. Now realize that not every moment of every day, you're going to be a hundred percent or 113%. There are going to days that you're on, that you're on empty, that you're running on low fuel, you're running on those fumes, but I promise you, if you take a big breath and you're, you have gratitude and you can see more right now, just, just, just see a little vision, a little hope, a little joy on the other side, it will just give you that little extra momentum to get you there, to get a little bit closer to what it is that you're wanting to do. I, I believe in you. I do. I do. And I want to partner with you. I want to connect with you and, and learn from you because we are most like the five people we spend the most time with. And if you're not happy with the circle you're in, then find a new circle, find a new room. Now there are places, people that need you, they need to, you, you to lift them up. And that's a lot because the reality is, is we have to, you know, we got to be, it's like a teeter totter. We got to be balanced. There's got to be some give and some take. So, Hey, have an amazing day. I got random things and we were planning yesterday and our, 
and our living room with the fireplace and we had our whiteboard and we were drawing things out. So just take advantage of the energy that you may have at different times, different stages of your life. Have an awesome day.